A lot of people have asked me if I felt safe while I was traveling in Egypt, and I'd have to say yes, definitely. There are things happening all over the world, but there are safe ways to travel. Traveling with an experienced guide, traveling in a group, being careful about where you put your money and your passport and your electronics. There was security everywhere we went in Egypt, and even though the vendors were a little forward... No, thank you. No, 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 no. no. At no point did I ever feel scared or unsafe. What was surprising was how few tourists there were. Normally when you go to a major tourist site, you're dealing with a lot of waiting, lining up, and feeling trapped because of all the people, but that just was not the case on this trip. We went to Luxor Temple as the sun was setting, and it was incredible to just be able to roam around freely at night. pretty surreal and at times I just completely forgot where I was. I felt like I was on a movie set, but then I realized, no, I'm in Egypt. Hi, I'm Andrew, also known as Gunnarola, musician and world traveler. This time I'm off to Egypt with Kentiki on an eight-day guided tour. We saw pyramids and temples, rode camels, and maybe even ate one. I would rather enjoy camel. It tastes like a breakfast sausage. But that's not all we did. This is the story of Egypt and the Nile. Okay, we're going to see the sound and light show. We've reached that point of the trip where I stopped giving a crap about how I look. So later that night we went to see a sound and light show at Karnak Temple. I don't know what I was thinking. I was expecting a big laser light show with an orchestra and fireworks, but that's not what this was. Do not be overwhelmed by the sheer size of these ruins. The citadel that arose here was not designed on the scale of men but on the grand scale of God, from whom all things flowed. Well, <laughs> that was interesting. If I'm being honest, I don't know that I could follow along with the entire story, but um, it's crazy to think about how many people built this space and passed through this space. And now we're passing through this space too. Following day, we checked out of the boat and went to the Valley of the Kings. Aside from our first day with the pyramids and camels, this was my favorite part of the trip and I wasn't allowed to document any of it. I didn't want to risk getting fined. We got to go inside tombs to see how they were decorated, how they were engineered. Some of them had booby traps. We got to see King Tut's tomb and his mummy. You know guys, each one of these tunnels, this is like a documentary. Look at how much stuff, history everywhere. So these are statues that they just recently discovered? Am I making things up? In the last 10 years. So that's not very recent, but I guess in the grand scheme of things it could be recent. It's fascinating to think about how many centuries of history are on that site and how many tombs might still not have been discovered yet. This used to be where people live. 5,000 people used to live here on the right hand side. Guys, uh, where we're going, it's like the site is amazing because the temple constructed in a cliff of a mountain and we used to describe the temple we say that the mountain give a hug the mountain hugging the temple so we are heading to uh, queen hatshepsut's temple right over there queen hot chicken soup queen hot chicken soup I've met some pretty incredible people on these Kentucky trips, and many of them have become very good friends of mine. I've been very lucky to be able to see some of them again somewhere in the world. One of my favorite people on this particular trip would have to be Georgette. It was her first Kentucky, and I get along really well with people who like to laugh. <laughs> And clearly, I must have inspired her because uh, she made an attempt at video blogging. Hi guys, this is my little video. Hi. Say hi everyone. Hi. Hello. Hi. <laughs> um, I can't pronounce this this woman's name. Queen Hachipsu. 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 She's my favorite because she's the first female uh, feral. Feral. And that's what I would love to be, the first female boss. Well, be careful what you wish for. George is a celebrity here. We're gonna charge him. 
All these Egyptian girls swarmed her. Uh, they wanted photos, and I guess they really liked her look. We have to go. Okay, thank you, bye. <laughs> so sweet. How did you feel about that? I'm like a movie star. Ooh. And after that little run-in with the paparazzi, we got to learn more about the temple and explore it. That's her picture on the wall. Look at how perfect that picture. Look at the eyes, the cow eyes. Guys, this picture is 3,500 years old. Look at how so well preserved. Andrew, are we gonna do a selfie, everybody? Yes. Are we? <laughs> oh wait, it's a movie. Oh. Ah. <laughs> You know, I'm starting to like this selfie stick thing. I don't know if I do this, but I'm getting some pretty good shots. We went back to Karnak Temple, this time during the day, and again, I was struck by how few tourists there were. Let's talk about the fact that it's empty. Like, there's no one here. It's empty. There's no one here except for us. It's like, which tourist attraction could you go to in the world where there's no one here? Which of course was the perfect opportunity for me to get my favorite type of footage, walking in slow motion. That's the temple. And with that, our trip was coming close to an end with one stop left, Hergada. Next Friday on Gonna Rolla. Okay, this is a resort hotel. We're gonna party tonight. <laughs> Today we are going to try McDonald's oh. kangaroo yeah, burger. No, oh, camel. It's camel. Yeah. This is the saddest part. Let's go talk to some passengers. How are you doing today? Today, yeah. Sorry again. <laughs> uh, anything you're looking forward to on the last few days of our trip? <sighs> I'm. Two days left. We only have two days left. Wait, I just got really sad. <laughs> really looking forward to our beach party. Yes, yeah, so it's gonna be a lot of fun. And if we take a look over here, we have the beautiful city of. <laughs> Let's go talk to Dave. Which Kentucky is this for you, number? This is Kentucky number three for me. And uh, how does it compare to the rest? It's a completely different experience. And what's been the highlight for you so far? I like the temples, the temples are really cool. The, all the temples we've seen have been awesome. I mean, yeah, and like uh, Abu Simbu, that was like, that was like one of the best things, I reckon. Yeah. That was the best thing we did. Well, plenty of temples to come here in Egypt. Yee!